How could you rent the thing anyway without a credit card? I have uh, a gasoline card. You can start by wiping that fucking dumbass smile. I've been wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. Red Solo Cup. I fill you up. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. Cheers. Thursday, Thirsty Thursday, Liver Damage Thursday. What are we reviewing? We're reviewing Combs Russian Imperial Stout. It's one of them oh, oh, quite a while back I received from uh, NIHAP. And it uh, weighs in at 12%, product of Poland. And uh, it says uh, uh, Combs is. If it's stored for 36 months, this beer changes its taste. Now you decide how long your combs will mature. Well, uh, not quite sure what 53, 30, 22 exactly means, other than. <laughs> yeah! Paul from PA Brew News, three years ago. <laughs> Familiar? Paul reviewed this. I did not watch to the point where he talked about it. Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. Those are fabulous. I don't even care. I don't care if that chick even had a face. <laughs> I was doing fine. Till just then. According to the, uh, according to Greggy Pooh and his uh, very smart wife. It's uh, snow mold. There's another one coming. Uh, I found uh, Trump 2020. You know, I like it how if you actually speak the truth. A woke tube uh, punishes you, but it just keeps going on and on. I keep hearing it in the news. It was it was being discussed this afternoon about how more and more Democrats say if they would have known what a corrupt piece of shit the Biden family was, they would have never voted for him. They would have voted for Trump. So. Who was the real winner if it wasn't for fraud? That's right, YouTube. There was fraud. Widespread. But you can't talk about it because there's no such thing as uh, the First Amendment in our new woke tube Orwellian society. But I'm going to open it up with the Trump 2020 bottle opener. Call me racist? Hell no, I'd tap that. Assholes. Oh, bottle caps look look something like that. Another one that will go into the box for uh, Hector. And that's like the last fucking thing I ever want to see is Hector's box. At twelve percent, I think we can probably try a uh, redneck rambling style pour and just go right down the center because twelve percent would never run over, right? I mean, I mean. All you have to do is pour hard, and it it works every single time. Just releasing those flavors. Wasting beer. Re releasing those flavors. Hey, if the alcohol content is high enough, we can use it as an all out cleaner, right? Oh, yeah. Looking good, Vern. Looking real good. Hold on. I have that feeling going on in my brain right now. I 
I love allergies. I mean, I can't, can't wait for flowering to happen. Okay. Well, it's dark. Not going to waste my time with the flashlight. I already did. That was great, too. Right in my fucking nose. Give me one of them fucking days. I wonder if uh, one of my favorite waitresses is watching this. Bets are that she has a difficult time finding this channel. Because of woke tube. So, uh, has that typical uh, deep stout smells to it. Um, Molat dark, very dark in the almost roasted molasses. A little bit of the uh, black licorice. Twelve percent. Cheers. Definitely has a really nice thick mouthfeel because we know how much I like a nice thick mouthfeel oh as a uh, as pre-discussed the other day I was uh, going through trying to find a flashback in time on uh, on a uh, bottle opener and uh, I found uh, over the years someone sent me a Kuntweiser and a uh, a tranny fluid opener and uh, am I gonna throw them away no just a constant reminder of what uh, wokeism looks like and um, we can watch the uh, the decline of the company hopefully hey, hello um, right off the bat I'm uh, started my uh, my next project uh, the carburetors out of uh, out of my uh, little uh, uh, Sammy Sammy Poo's bike. Uh, the, uh, the 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 main reason that these uh, ended up uh, on the bench instead of uh, in the bike is because it's uh, been experiencing this. Uh, uh, she'd come to a stop at an intersection and the bike would stay at like 6,000 RPMs and would not idle down. Um, I am not feeling anything, uh, I mean there was no, uh, there was no cables uh, seizing. I had already replaced the throttle cable on it uh, uh, for her, so I, I know that that wasn't the problem. Um, I know over time the heat and all uh, this uh, f uh, fuel line is as hard as a rock and brittle and as a matter of fact it broke off of the filter no big deal I would have replaced it anyway I mean it's just a generic uh, stone filter uh, but the one thing I did find right off the bat in the uh, uh, choke uh, system uh, when you uh, pull right here's the choke lever and when you uh, pull pull up on the uh, flip your choke lever it basically uh, puts a, a, a higher uh, a higher mix in and as you can see all the little extra pistons are being pulled up except for the one closest to me uh, I found the uh, the top of the uh, piston it was uh, broke off and uh, since then it's actually re removed it but I uh, I got a uh, I got four four new complete new assemblies for each of the carbs on uh, on order. Uh, I've actually been talking to McCline, and his suggestion, which I think is a is a valid one, is to uh, uh, prior to rebuilding them, uh, just for aesthetics and cleaning, is to uh, drop them in the ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, this would not be a goal uh, that would be uh, happening to achieve. Uh, let's ultrasonic clean them and then put them back in the bike. No, it's just a matter of uh, of cleaning them up really good. 
uh, prior to uh, completely disassembling them I have a uh, I have a rebuild uh, rebuild kit uh, uh, a complete rebuild kit for all of them uh, sitting over there on the shelf and I opened it once and looked at it prior to taking them out of the out of the bike which I did yesterday the main reason that I wasn't here yesterday is because uh, it was uh, too freaking nice yesterday was absolutely uh, incredible we hit like 70 72 degrees and uh, I flat out wanted to stay outside as long as possible so I got some uh, work done I put uh, I put the uh, the shoes back on my uh, plow which uh, I still think I, I need to replace the other two one of them is very badly bent and as long as I've gone as far as replacing two out of three I figured I might as well replace three out of three so I need to look around and figure out who has the the best price I know it's not boss <laughs> every yeah there she is everything for the uh, boss plow is uh, ridiculously priced and you can find it somewhere else like uh, this year and it never happened I really wanted to get the uh, snow deflector that goes across the top of it basically it looks like um, it looks like uh, yeah, I could make it out of a conveyor belt from a uh, yeah that's right Gunwild hold on what is your problem fucking McLean okay well if you're ever wondering they look like this and uh, this is what uh, one rebuild kit looks like See, so it comes with the thingamajiggy and then it's got a bunch of these stuff and then there's these pushy thingies and then there's um, uh, Matt's condom, right? A couple of bunch of bunch of Matt's condoms, and then this thing. I think it's wow! Look, it's it's almost as big as those titties. The only thing I don't know if I should take them off of the rail or if it's possible just to rebuild them as they are. And if I rebuild them as they are, then they're not going to get the detailed uh, uh, sudsy action in the ultrasonic cleaner because I, my ultrasonic cleaner, the tank isn't big enough to put this whole thing in. Um, yeah, McLean, that maybe that won't happen if you rebuild them, leaving them as a group like this. I don't know. It's not, it's not, do I? Does this say? It says, fuck it, it doesn't say carburetor rebuild guy. I'm just doing it because I'll, I'll stick shit just about anywhere for, you know, once. Okay, Rich Huff was, uh, says, cheers, clubbers. Uh, and then first into the uh, Reds Hard Apple Peach, kind of counterintuitive right there, is Clyde saying first. Smile Money says, not first. Clyde says, damn, Skippy. Then Clyde says, Whiskey and Revolution for All, and Phil puts four shots in to up the ante. Poco says, Not it. And Ben N says, Cheers from India. Ben, it's been a while. The question I still ask is, How many of my friends did I lose because they didn't know I went from B&E Brewery Views to Captain Dick Nozzle? Then, how many more friends did I lose when I went from Captain Dick Nozzle to Captain Dick Nozzle and the Intergalactic Misfits? We shall never know. So, just, uh, just so you know, yesterday was 72 degrees, if not warmer, and today is... Hey Google, what's the temperature right now? In Duluth, it's currently 45 degrees. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's 38. God damn, that is awesome!
Hey Google, ever had someone give you a dirty Sanchez? I don't understand. Your, your mom did. Yo mama's such a star. Jupiter is considering orbiting her. Hey, you got another joke? Oh, I love strawberries. I could lick strawberries all day. Ben, love you. Mr. 27 says intro balmy hunter. Multi gunman said he didn't have enough 357 magnums or whiskey. Son of a bitch. Poco says blasphemy. God isn't a good idea. Well, what would be is to get a new mouse. A meese. Actually, I don't like meese, I like titties. Uh, track, 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 track balls is what I meant to say. J Dog, you here at work on my day off. Oh well, more money. J Dog, you machine, you. No, J Dog, I still have not made it over to uh, Superior Guns and Ammo to pick up some uh, 45 ACP mags. You know, as much as there's no such thing as too many mags. I uh, I have, I don't know, over 20 uh, 45 ACP mags, so that's kind of the reason. But maybe tomorrow I'll stop and see if they still have the Kim Pros, or at least a, one Kim Pro. Moves the tattoos. Mike says cheers. Cheers, Mike. Then Mike says... Those uh, USB uh, camp lights uh, was a great item to me. Oh! I gave them and the knife to Miles as a uh, ca camper warming present. Miles does a lot for me and uh, well, I'm just trying to, trying to show my gratitude. Poco, oh rum, take a shot or four or five. What is wrong with you? I hate rum. Some, mo, most rum, all rums except for one. Looks a little packed in the infield. Um, since uh, since today is already shot as a non-drinking day. Yesterday, yesterday was a it was a uh, non-drinking day that I that I drank but um, yeah I had a uh, me and Christine sat out back with Mike talk about an absolutely gorgeous day yesterday it was just unbelievable let's just have a little bump of the nectar with grandma bamboo where have you been my old friend Building a drink, a.k.a. Redneck Ramblin'. Um, greetings, Captain. Greetings, building a drink. j Dog, 75 today. You must, you, you must have been up over the hill. Cooler by the lake. You know, you know the same. Mm. Mm. Salty? Nobody puts naked in the corner. Sub comments, multi gunman. Mama said life is like a box of naked. You never know what naked you're gonna get. This is true. Tardisius, uh, never ever talk about Fight Club unless, yeah, you guessed it, naked. And Sharky, I got put in the corner naked when I was bad. Or when uh, it was part of the role play. Smile money? Yes. 
but if you drink woke beer, are you sure they didn't brew it with extra estrogen? Let's hope not. Next thing you know, we'll find out that they're putting the shot in the beer. Uh, redneck again. Uh, I've typed a comment twice about uh, formatting that drive, but YouTube keeps deleting it. Hit me up if you can't figure it out. Um, well, it was not showing up in my computer, but uh, NIHAP told me um, how to uh, get into um, uh, formatting and whatever. I yeah, I, or partitioning, and I, I found, I, I, I followed his directions, I got in, and um, I because I had already previously done a move, um, I it showed that I used this much, and that's all that would show up in my computer, and it actually showed that it was full, like the red indicator, but yet when you went into the partition and formatting shit, uh, it showed that it had all of this, so I uh, increased the volume to the full capacity of the drive, and um, everything was all good. And I restarted it, put the drive back, or clicked back on the drive, and it showed up as a G, and uh, it still showed up with the same damn thing. I'm like, what the fuck? So I uh, I formatted it, which erases everything that's on it, to. More proof that Gun Wild is right. Um, so I formatted it, wiped everything off of it, went in, did the partitioning, uh, fired it back up. It showed that it was a full 4 terabit. Um, I then, instead of, because all I have is what was on the 2 terabit, so I put the both of them in the toaster, not hooked to the computer, and then just transferred, got up in the morning, plugged it back in, and it still showed the same goddamn thing. 2 terabits and the red line. And I went back in on the thing and it uh, re redid the partitioning, expanded for the full volume, and then when I plugged it back in, it seemed just fine. But it seems like it has a conflict because of the toaster. The toaster slot gets assigned to G. And if I assign it to something else, then there's a... I wiped the two, the two terabit drives of everything. The four moving forward is just going to be used as backup for everything from this channel. The other ones, I'm backing up the rest of the stuff. It's working fine as long as I don't... Oh, I wonder if that's a dude. Poco! Uh, we get the uh, warhead and we hold the world ransom for one million dollars. Tom says... Uh, this is 2023, a million dollars isn't really worth very much and more, especially since uh, Joe the fucking cunt Biden keeps printing money. Absolutely. J-Dog, keep seeing ads for air horns that go on a motorcycle. Yeah, I have seen those. Miles, the ones that uh, there's no way the sound like that, that is advertised. Uh... They didn't sound uh, like the commercial. I have been... I have been thinking about changing the, uh, the horn on Vivian. Uh, so, I'm looking into possibly doing uh, custom plates. Uh, be like, hashtag be like Ed is impossible. And um, I'm thinking about just doing Vivian. Uh, I got to run up when Christine is working, and uh, whoa, ATF shocked! Unbelievable Glock, world's first pistol to rifle bullpup conversion. McLean looks sexy. I have not seen that yet. I guess I'll I'll, I'll watch that later.
hang on. Always a good time and appreciate the friendship, period. And the IRS should be abolished, either by pen or by large quantities of explosives. <laughs> LOL, just kidding, I didn't say that. Damn! Yeah. Um, building a drink. I just, you know how that, that really how that sounds, right? Uh, aged ten minutes is technically aged. For example, you can buy a uh, white bourbon. The the barrel it uh, uh, it for long. They barrel it for long enough to move it to the bottling area and bottle it. Bourbon has to be aged in uh, new oak barrels, but it does not state how long it must be aged. Lose the tattoo, sweetie. Clyde, under federal standards, Kentucky bourbon must be aged in a new charred oak barrels of aging at no greater than 125 proof, 62.5% by volume during the distillation process and must be made at least 51% corn. Straight bourbon must be aged for at least two years. And then he says back to Clyde, uh, correct, but no minimum. Ten minutes or ten years, it's still legal bourbon. Rich Off says cheers all. I'm sick of double clicking everything. Multi Gunman says whiskey. Multi-gunman, just so you know, in the new world where mental illness reigns supreme, this here identifies as whiskey. And as a matter of fact, that is truly a Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum with a large capacity cylinder. And fuck you, ATF, and fuck you, WokeTube. Yeah, I'm a little cranky today, but still in a good goddamn attitude. <sighs> oh, baby. Mm -hmm. So, um, Sammy called because she bought another car today. A uh, customer came in with a uh, Subaru Impreza uh, that had all sorts of problems. Basically, the motor's blown up in it. And uh, she uh, asked the guy, he's like, well, so-and-so said that they'd give me this amount of money, and they'd give me this amount of money, and they said they'd give me this amount of money. Sam goes, I'll give you 300 bucks for it right now. And he goes, she goes, I, I want another Subaru in my my family they're great cars and um, the guy goes well I appreciate the fact that you want to uh, uh, rebuild it and continue enjoying it yes I will Sam I will sell you the car for 300 bucks they went straight over to motor vehicle same place where Christine works of course Sam didn't talk to Christine and even if she was available Christine would have got someone else because technically she can't wait on Sam because she's family so Sam goes the only window that was open is a lady that Sam said is a fucking cunt every time she's there and today was no exception she's like purchase price $300 three hundred dollars for a 2012 Subaru that cannot be accurate it's accurate well that's just gonna get flagged by the state there's just no way possible you're gonna have to get proof from a mechanic Sam looked at her uniform and said I am the mechanic this is the guy I'm buying the car from he goes that was my car and I am selling it to her for three hundred dollars well that's just that's just never gonna pass 
the, the state is going to just come after you. And Sam goes, that's, that's fine. Let them come after me. I mean, what were they going to do? They're going to bring me in the room, and they're going to bring out the Gustafo light, and uh, and then if they call him, he's going to say, "I sold it for three hundred dollars." Uh, look at what's in his pocket. Guess what's in there? Three hundred dollars, because that's what I bought for it. Well, you should you you need to put a higher amount. And <laughs> wow, contosis much? Uh, Rich says, uh, try the Madoa Shalada. It is much better than the Budweiser Shalada. Jolson says, it's made by the same people. Great. Smile money. Oh, my, my, uh, urination, uh, sight gag. I'm sure Christine will help you write your first book. Toilet humor and my life in the shitter. Laugh out loud. Yes. It's got a nice ring to it, actually, if I think about it. Ah, uh, cold hearted bastard. Uh, two thumbs up and two shots. Then he says, uh, intro babe is three thumbs up. Sharky says, totally agree. Oh, that's nice. Would one, this fucking mouse. Then Scourge says, uh, looks like beer, tastes like beer. Must be Pizweiser. Cold hearted bastard. Better than duct tape or co hosts. Cheap old gun guy. Yes, I hear that thing. Do you hear that thing? Matt Davis says beer. Matt. Kind of been stalling on this a little bit to let it warm up. Almost a little uh, cherry flavor coming out of it as it warms up. Or something that's giving it its sweetness. We are up to uh, 48 degrees. That's, that's better than uh, straight out of the non fire <clears throat> Matt sushi suggests you try two towns cider house and bad apple cider it weighs in at 10.5 wow I, I like where like where your head's at man McLean Eric I wanted to see if you will eat a cactus or I want to see if you will eat a cactus. Go to a Mexican market and ask for Napoli. It's good stuff. Try it. We're in fucking Minnesota. There's no fucking such thing as a Mexican market here. Jesus Christ. I'm two and a half hours south of Canada. Eh? How about pizza? Have you tried pizza? Wade, I use rope light rope lights to light up a couple of my gun safes, so I guess they're good for that. I have a rope light inside of my safe. Changes all sorts of colors. I never use it. Um, actually, last time I tried it, I think my remote battery is dead. McLean, I came here to chew bubble gum and get wasted with a bunch of nerds. I like where your head's at right now. I wish my I wish I knew where my head was at right now. Wait, when uh, you're alone, there's less to comment about. But with the Peanut Twins, either together or one at a time, the amount of BS goes exponentially in. Magnitude. Yes. Home stretch. Uh, Tom, Goose Island, sounds like a place Miles and Matt run about and play grab ass. Jolson, we need no cowbell. Tom says, yes, we don't. EMT Rail Fan, Echo 5 is alive and. E 
is a misdemeanor. The struggle is real. Sharky, cheers all. Justin AR on deck. Some packages. No guess and a shorter one. Read more button. Here we go. Lose the tattoo, sweetie. Getting a cramp. Sharky, that's a really uh, nice picture from Hempseed at 9.30. Nice close-up and details. And yes, thanks Brad for the redhead picks. A lot of the redhead picks are from Phil, but, you know, I'm just saying. Um, Sharky, nice Punisher blade Matt got you. Yes, it's awesome. Over here, we can't have both sides sharpened from the store. Also, due to... Uh, from the store, I'll leave it at that. So for legalities, yeah, see... I don't understand why I don't have it on me. It's actually upstairs next to Ed's gun. Um, I don't understand what the issue is. What? It, this is this is just your typical example of liberal Democrats trying to control and manipulate the situation. I mean, all of a sudden now we're in a battle over how many rounds can be in a mag. Go fuck yourself. All of them. I want a backpack with the belt going to my Glock. You fucking liberal. I know. I know. There's those people out there that say, use of potty talk it seems like it lowers your, uh, uh, your, you know, when people just use potty talk, they're just, they can't be as mature or intellectual. Well, fuck those people. Those are the people that voted for Biden, so fuck them. By the way, as funny as you know, that bass season is open, and if you got a tax stamp, come on over and to my backyard. I, I guess j Dog pulled a couple big ones the other day. Sharky, 1930. Oh, a brunette with freckles. Our souls won't even make it to ginger hell. Still worth it. Okay. You have my attention. That's when I'd leave. Multi-gun. We got shit falling. Oh, yeah. I, 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 almost, I almost made a comment about her. She also has a tar star necklace. Proof of that, too. Sharky, Fox Trot 6 going south. Uh, Fox Trot 6. Ow! Fox Trot 6, F6 is a hit. Kind of looks like a little green spoon covering the entrance to hell. Sharky, last comment, SH. It's amazing the comments I sent you on Messenger, uh, fearing that they would get trashed, actually made it. Lovely intro, babe. I'm not intro or into gardening, but I'd love to ride a tractor and mow that magnificent lawn. Okay. Freckles, Sharky. Warning. Freckles. Okay, so evidently the when I press the button on Smile Money saying not first, um, it got bamboozled because of this. Yeah, lose the tattoo. Uh, so we got two of you guys in here. Uh, where? Uh, there's another bottle of this for me to enjoy, and that will not be tonight. Nihap. 
Combs Russian Imperial Stout. I'm gonna have to go finish uh, Paul's review on this. Intense roasted flavors. I agree. I am not. I am not usually a fan of Russian Imperial Stouts because of their dried bitter. This has a really lovely, um, uh, thick, roasted, I don't know if I'd use the words oily, but it's definitely greasy. It, and, it, and it finishes with a sweetness. If all Russian Imperial Stouts were like this, I would like Russian Imperial Stouts a lot more. Um, I'd, give, I'd give this a 10. There's another bottle. I may pull this out of the refrigerator and put it in the large gun toaster and uh, put some um, maturity on it and maybe revisit it in uh, a year or more by myself. Okay, those are magnificent. First in is Rich saying cheers clubbers. Then J-Dog saying heart club Mr. Holster. Um, yeah, that's that's not the uh, not the walking around gun, but in case WokeTube is uh, watching, just for the record, this is a seven thousand round magazine. It just keeps on firing. As a matter of fact, it's uh, kind of like that uh, self uh, healing uh, fabric. It just reloads. When you fire a shot, another round mysteriously appears. It's called a liberal mag. Oh my. Cheers. <laughs>